Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you a brand new series. We are doing Lord of the Rings Online, or Lotro. This is one of my favorite games pretty much of all time. Listen to that epic music, holy cow. Alright, well, Lotro recently launched Update 15, which brought out the brand new Bjorning class, which you can see right here. So we're going to be doing a Let's Play as a Bjorning. I'm very, very excited for this. Let's go ahead and get a uh, character all customized. Um, we'll kind of bring that there. Uh, actually, let's do... Let's see... That looks pretty good. I think the hair is... Yeah, about right there should be good. That matches the beard. We'll go ahead and uh, get a tattoo going. Maybe make it a little bit more red. Uh, I think we'll make our eyes a little bit kind of like a reddish brown as well, somewhere around there. Let's go ahead and call our character... Um, call it Rathbrand or something like that. That should be in line with the lore. So we'll go Rathbrand, and looks pretty good to me. And let's go ahead and jump right in. I have had a very long and loving relationship with this game. I have played this game off and on for three or four years now. Very, very excited for this. In the vales of the Anduin, the children and grandchildren of Bayorn live a rustic and peaceful life. Soon they too will need to face the shadow that threatens all of Middle-earth. Alright, so we are going to take on the evils that threaten Middle-earth. Now, before I jump into this, I do want to go ahead and customize my, U my uh, UI a little bit, get it the way I like it. Uh, let's see, anything else? Emote, uh, we'll change that, we'll change that. Uh, Alright, I think that looks good good and then we'll go turn on always loot all and I think that should be good now I do want to go ahead and customize some of this stuff too just bear with me for a second otherwise this is going to drive me crazy uh, the entire time that I'm playing close that uh, assist window will bring up here Fellowship maneuvers over there. Alerts. Where's my loot roll zone? Should be somewhere. Quest tracker. That's right where I want it. I'm not seeing my loot roll zone. I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. Okay. So that should be the way we want it. And we'll go ahead and start taking on some of these quests. I'm not going to... Uh, take time to read every single pop-up and everything like that. Uh, but looks like Sturcris is our brother, and we're going to have to, I don't know, make him uh, happy or something. I don't know. We're going to talk with our brother here. Now, I did not put any time in on the test server. I have not played this class before at all. I'm not really familiar with it. Um, so... This is going to be, I, I, I really don't want to say it's going to be a blind playthrough, because it's really not. I've put so many hours into this game that I know it like the back of my hand. But as far as this class is concerned, it is going to be blind in that manner. I have never played the Bjorning class, um, so this should be a lot of fun. I'm really, really looking forward to it. Um, I do have three very high-level characters on this server. I've got a captain a hunter, and a minstrel, who are all at the previous level cap of 95. Um, and the captain was hands down my favorite class, because it's a very, very versatile class. It can do everything. It can tank, it can heal, and it can damage. And uh, I've heard that the Bjorning is very similar in that manner. I've heard it's an extremely versatile class that can heal a little bit and tank, and do damage, so I'm really, really excited for this. I'm also excited to get back into Lotro and look at this gorgeous 
beautiful scenery. Just look at this. Holy cow. Unbelievable. Just gorgeous. I think Turbine has done a fantastic job over the years of bringing Tolkien's world to life. So, let's go find this meandering cow. This is one of those, uh, you know, go find this, go do that type quests, which is totally okay. And, uh, let's see, I see the meandering milk cow. And now we gotta talk to awful f -f -f -f, or whatever his I name is. You have grown soft. And, let's see, as a Bjorning, you have a new vital named Wrath that replaces power. Okay. So basically, you build up Wrath in your power bar up here, and then you can use that to change into bear form, I'm assuming? Yeah, okay. Gotcha. I get it. I understand. It makes sense. And we'll switch those around in the hot bar there. So, let's go uh, kill some sickle flies, I guess. That's the next part of this quest. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome, first of all. Glad to have you here, and thanks for watching. Um, this is the first Lotro video that I have done on my channel. Um, but it is certainly not the first video that I've done on my channel. I have a Minecraft, I've actually, I have several Minecraft series, got some Pokemon, decided it would be a good time to branch out into Lotro, what with the update coming out, and with the new class, it was a good excuse to get back into this game that I've loved for so long. Uh, so, you know, feel free to take a look and check out some of my other videos as well, that's always appreciated. Um... I'm really kind of curious as far as feedback goes for how you guys think that I should do this series. I'm thinking that I'm going to try and keep the episodes fairly short, 15 minutes, 20 maybe, maybe 25 for a long episode, maybe a little bit longer than that if we get into like rating and instances and things like that group, uh, you know, group content. But uh, I'm going to try and keep the videos fairly, sh fairly short. I think given the nature of the game and the amount of running around and whatnot that you often have to do, um, I'm going to have to do some editing. There will be some parts that I will just cut out because they're not extremely entertaining. Um, but that's up to you guys. If you guys want to see some of the... Uh, if you guys want to see everything, I'm more than happy to record every minute that I'm playing this character. Um, I'm happy to do that. But if you don't want to see that, just let me know. Leave a comment. You know, Let me know what your thoughts are. And uh, I aim to please, so I'll uh, I'll basically set the series up however you guys want to have it set up. I'm fine with that. Looks like we have one more sickle fly to kill, and then we can move on. Let's just go into bear mode so we can take it out quickly. And it looks like your wrath decreases as you're out of combat. So, it looks like it's kind of one of those use it or lose it mechanics. So there's not really any reason to not go into bear mode or beast mode. I think I'm just going to call it beast mode. Because I know it's bear form, but still, beast mode just sounds awesome. So, maybe that's what we'll do. Uh, let's see, let's talk to Langhar over here. And she wants to go on a walk with us, so we'll just follow... We'll just follow her around. I think this is our sister. I think I read somewhere that this is your sister, but either way, we're going to go on a little journey here. And while I'm running around, I'm just going to kind of look at some of this gorgeous scenery. Look at those flowers. Look how pretty that is. That's just, man. Uh, every time I come into a new area that I haven't played through a hundred times in this game, I'm just... I'm just blown away by the scenery and how beautiful it is. I mean, this is the kind of place that I would take my wife on a date. Just look at that. We'd go for a picnic. It's just gorgeous. Just beautiful. And this is certainly not the only breathtaking area in this game. If you have never played Lotro and you are a fan of MMOs, this is a just a phenomenally good one. Um, and on top of that, if you're a Tolkien fan like myself, it's even better because you kind of get to, you know, see 
an interpretation of Tolkien's world and how everything looks and it's just just a lot a lot of it's just a lot of fun I love it it's like we got those goblins down there's some more goblins coming We'll pop out of bear mode. Looks like I don't have any attacks in bear mode if I don't have wrath. So it becomes a matter of managing your wrath. Hmm, okay. It's going to take me a little while to get used to this class, but so far I like it alright. I really like the, uh, the appearance of your initial character for this class. It might actually be my favorite. Uh, this, these kind of fur shoulders that you see. I really, really like that. I think that's really cool looking. Um, although, actually, all the starting classes, all the classes have pretty cool starting appearances, which then quickly degrade into not-so-cool starting appearances. Um, pretty much right as soon as you get, like, your first set of armor that isn't the initial stuff you start with. So we'll see what happens. Um, however, with that said, the cosmetic system in Lotro is the best cosmetic system I have ever seen uh, pretty much in any game. It's phenomenally good. You can customize your appearance however you want uh, as far as the stuff that you're wearing goes. And it you don't basically basically you don't have to wear a piece of armor to have its appearance. So you can set up your you can wear stuff for stats and stuff for appearance. Uh, furthermore, given that I have hundreds of hours of playtime on this server, I have a lot of cosmetics that I can play around with to make a really cool looking character. So that should be a lot of fun. Looks like the town is surrounded by goblins. I can't imagine that that is uh, good for the property values around here. They're probably rapidly decreasing. Let's see. We've got Radagast the Brown coming over there. The brown wizard who has an affinity for talking with animals. And then we've got this guy, Grimbjorn, who I'm assuming is my father and the village elder. Or something along those lines. Radagast is warning us of a dark power. Of course, that would be Sauron. And the rising forces of darkness. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so... Apparently, Grimbjorn is Bjorn's brother. Bjorn, of course, was the Bjorning in The Hobbit, and the character that the Bjorning class and race in Lotro is based on. Uh, it's interesting because Bjorn said in The Hobbit that he was the last of his kind. So there was kind of a lore controversy uh, about Lotro releasing the Bjorning class uh, because... Obviously, in an MMO, there's more than one person playing the class, so there's going to be a bunch of Bjornings running around, and Bjorn in The Hobbit said that he was the last of his race. So some people were kind of up in arms about that. Me, personally, I'm totally okay with it. Um, I'm just really excited to see Lotro getting a new class after all these years. The last time that they released new classes was... Uh, when they released the Warden and Runekeeper class, and I want to say that was part of the Mines of Moria expansion, which was a pretty long time ago, honestly. That was... I want to say Mines of Moria was the second expansion to the game. Um, or maybe even the first expansion to the game, I'm not sure. But it looks like we're getting all of our starting gear here, which is good. And there we go. We have leveled up to level two, moving up in the world. And we'll hop on a horse and ride off into the sunset. This should drop us in our chet, which is right near Bree. And it did. And I just skipped three levels. What? Oh, you know what? I just skipped a bunch of stuff. Because I, as a VI, as a long-standing member, got tired of playing through all the intro areas. So I purchased an item from the Lotro store that basically lets me skip directly from the intro video 
uh, through all this initial stuff in our chat. So now we're basically up to level 5. We've got uh, plenty of things. I do not know where the ranger has uh, okay. I had forgotten that I did that. So yeah, basically it jumps you right up to level 5 and right into... Uh, right past the intro, the prologue, if you will. So, we are moving up in the world very quickly, it seems. Cool. Now we get to move on to the fun stuff. But I think for this episode, this is a good place to stop. So, if you enjoyed this episode, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, or leave me a comment. It really helps uh, keep me motivated and uh, helps me to keep wanting to produce more videos like this. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.